Today, friends, we will be going through the PSC old question solution. So, in the Public Service Commission, in the Civil Engineering section, you have, if you have gone through that, you will receive two or three numericals in the Public Service Commission examinations in the Civil Engineering level. So, we will be solving the numerical section of the previously asked question in the public service commissions. So before going through the problem and solution of the old questions, if you are new to this channel, you can like, share and subscribe this channel so that you won't miss any new videos on any subject related to civil engineering and other technological aspect. So I want to add one more thing that winning means being unafraid to lose. So this is the line and sentence that I have taken from the book called The Rich Dad and the Poor Dad. So this is one of the inspirational and motivational quotes I have taken. So for the complete video and for knowing the complete solution of the previous year, ask question in public service commission you just watch the complete video so friends this is the problem that has been asked in the previous year of five marks so this is of five marks that is asked in the public service commission technical subject paper okay so the question is the slope of the channel that is in alluvium soil is yes that is the bed slope is given as s equals to, s is 1 in 5000 so 1 in 5000 is the bed slope and the lacy seal factor is 0 0.9 and the channel side slope is 0 0.5 used to 1 so find the channel section and the maximum discharge that can be allowed to flow in it so we have to determine the maximum discharge. So we have to determine the dis discharge that it can hold up and the channel section. The channel section is the, the bed, uh, bed width and the depth of the channel. So we need to determine the depth of the channel. The bed width B, D is the depth and the discharge that can be allowed to flow in the channel. So we are given the side slope the lacy sorry lacy seal factor okay and the side slope of the channel is also given so we are given the bed slope the and the side slope and the seal factor so from above this we need to determine the channel section and discharge so the given are the lacy seal factor f is 0 0.9 the bed slope of the channel is s equals to 1 by 5000 and the side slope of the channel that is to be constructed is 0 0.5 years to 1. So the unknowns that are to be found are the channel section that is the bed width B and the depth of the channel and the discharge that it can accommodate. Now friends the first step is that we need to find the seal factor but as it is given in the question so seal factor F is 0 0.9. Second step we need to determine the velocity so velocity v equals to k of square by 140 power 1 by 6 here q is unknown so at first our aim is to find the q so using the lacy's derived equations we can find the discharge that can the channel can accommodate okay so we need to find first discharge here okay so friends the discharge can be found out by using the lacy derived expression using the relation between the side sorry bed slope and the seal factor and the discharge relationship so we have s equals to 1 by 3340 f to the power 5 by 3 q to the power divided by q to the power 1 by 6 so if you solve this you can easily find out discharge 
comes out to be 3.925 q mac so this is the discharge that is flowing through the channel now friends if you use the velocity formula v equals to kp square by 140 to the power 1 by 6 you can easily find out the velocity so the velocity in this case comes out to be 0 0.532 cube sorry meter per second so in step 3 you need to determine the area of cross sections a that is given by the continuity equation so a equals to q by v so if you solve this area will become come out to be 7.377 square meters now friends in step 4 we need to determine the weighted parameter so for the determination of weighted parameter we can use the formula p equals to 4.75 root q so if you substitute the value of q as 3.925 you can find out that the parameter that is weighted parameter com comes out to be 9.41 meters now friends in step 5 we need to find out the bad width and the depth of the channel so for finding out this we have to write the expressions that that is the equations for the parameter and the cross-sectional area weighted area of the channel so we have the parameter formula for the trapezoidal channel so here we have taken the trapezoidal cross-section of the channel so the parameter is given by b plus 2d root square root of 1 plus z square so if you so here z is given as 0 0.5 so if you just substitute and simplify it you will obtain the value of bad width as 9.41 minus 2.236d so here d is unknown we need to solve uh, the expression for d now friends we have area a equals to bd plus zd square in the trapezoidal sections so if you substitute the value of b as obtained in the previous expression then you can find the quadratic equation 1.736 d square minus 9.41 d plus 7.377 equals to 0 this is the quadratic equation that has two values okay so if you solve this we will obtain d1 as 4.47 meter and d2 as 0 0.95 meter so these we have obtained the two depths of the channel so we will make the so the bed width will also come out to be two okay so we'll just know what are the possible cases now friends we have substituted the two values of the depth of the channel that we have obtained from the quantity expression and if we substitute that in first case d equals to 4.47 the bad width come out to be negative 0 0.58 so the bad width cannot be negative isn't it so width cannot be negative so the first depth 4.47 is not possible in our case so we just go to the second depth 0 0.95 so if you substitute the depth of 0 0.95 we'll obtain the bed width as 7.28 meters so this is positive and this is a correct expression so we have got the depth of the channel as 0 0.95 the bed width as 7.28 meters so friends the final solution of this problem is that we have obtained a section of bad width b equals to 7.28 meters and the depth d equals to 0 0.95 meters likewise the discharge that is flowing through the ch channel that is the maximum discharge that can be allowable for flowing is 3.925 q mac that is cubic meter per second and the bed slope is the given in the equation as 1 in 5000 likewise the side slope is 0 0.5 used to 1 so as shown in the figure above is the channel having the required parameters so friends if you find this video as useful you can like and share to your friends and for such videos stay tuned to this channel thank you we will meet soon in another video